Okay, good day everyone. Today I want to share about this. Okay, this is the HIK Face Terminal DSK12343 EFX. Okay, I think or I believe all these uh, face terminal they also come with the, this USB port. So this time I want to show how we're doing to the offline mode. That means without any network connectivity, we just using USB as a transferring data. Okay, so over here we just take a look because I have to do some presetting over here. What I do, what I doing, what I do on this device, I just create a user user on it. That means my user one zero zero one. My name is Fai, Alex, and two zero zero one. This is what example I do lah. Okay, so over here, I didn't do any of setting. We just do one part because we just we just do the user manage. People scan able to get the transaction record. So we need to export the attack. We not able to export the user data, but we can able export the event data that means it's a transaction log okay so over here i plug my pen drive over here okay okay after we plug we're going to data then going to the export okay currently we need to export the you uh, event data okay so you pick in password you just simplify okay So he mentioned the event data is exported. Okay. So now I want to prove how we're going to get this user data into a computer. Okay, we just unplug here and plug to the computer. Okay, once you plug to the computer, do you see they have uh, this uh uh, Excel log file, right? Isn't it? So we don't look on it. We directly go to the IBM Mesh 4200. Okay. This IBM 4200, they have a person access control monitoring time. I don't let. Well, what I discussing on my last previous video that showing how we using network, but now we are running offline mode for this face terminal. Okay. So we're going to a person first. So we add. Just now, five is 100. It's just keeping that the five person over here. Then you're going to add and you put a 2001 for Alex. Okay, but before that, because previously I have uh, made uh, some of the transactions, so I pick it one until 1 of the October. Okay, then we add into it. I, this also as well, I have to amend it back. Okay, so what, first of the October. Okay, done. So all the data already properly run ready. Okay, we're going to the time attendance okay time attendance what we have to focus over here there are some settings we need to take point okay attendance checklist this you have to enable set all the card reader as checkpoint if not you're not able to get the report correctly okay so we're going to timetable uh what you did you just did back your start what time end of the of your work time in and out up to you lah but for me i you i get using this for the my time day my time period lah. Okay, so once done, I save it. Shift, I pick it up Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, I save it. So we're going to a shift schedule. We're going to a department schedule. Click on it. That's what we do on the previous la. Okay, first October until 2029, 31st. Okay, so that over here, I save it. Okay, done. So the report, how we going to get the report from the USB? Quite easy. So you make sure you click this one. We'll play on 1st of the October. Okay, we get the event data from the import file. Okay, this import file is over here. Okay, so get the event data, create the import file, and found your file directory. Your file directory you can put on your pen drive. Open. Your password, I made 4 times for 1 mark right now. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 4 times 1. Okay, done. So the data already import inside. Do you see they have a total number event? Blah, blah, blah. Over here, right? Isn't it? So we search on it. The, all the transition log come out okay so the transition log coming out into a computer so the transition log already get but now we have to left calculation going to calculation part select the first of october okay so we calculate it so you see the previous uh the first of the, the 11 i already have a transition log on the check-in and check out over here so this is what we done so we take a lot on the reports so report at the monthly report, I think as usual, like uh, before my previous video that uh, we are showing the 
uh, first are uh, in and check out, right? Isn't it? And also, we are able to see like a uh, usual. You can see the valid access record. So valid access record. How many times you pumping in your record? You can able to monitor over here. Okay. So this is how we do lah. Uh, but this Alex the transmission record. Okay. So anyway, thank you for watching my video and please like to subscribe to my channel. I hope this video help you all to settle your job. Okay. See ya.